It's September 1st, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just doing a video here about um, the solar dehydrator that uh, I built this this summer. Um, and uh, just really happy with its performance, and I wanted to share it with other people. So right now, uh, inside the, the solar dehydrator, we've got a temperature of uh, uh, almost 45 degrees. Um, and uh, you can see the, the probe is inside the frame. I'm just going to go ahead and pull that out and uh, let it sit at room temperature um, while I talk about some other features then I'll come back and, and check out the uh, um, uh, what the temperature is outside so you can see the, the probe just hanging there. So anyways it's a really simple design. Uh, it's just a sheet of half inch plywood uh, that's been wrapped with galvanized low rib metal. All the stuff has been recycled except for um, the 18 gauge uh, black uh, black metal and the stainless steel screen. So we've got half inch plywood that's been wrapped in galvanized uh, uh, metal, um, salvaged 2x4 that was, that was ripped in half to make the frames, 18 gauge um, lids that act as heat uh, conductors, and then just some regular wall poly, uh, I think it's about uh, 18 mil wall poly that was stapled to a 1x4 frame to act as a, uh, a greenhouse effect. So anyways, the, these are just um, removable lids. They act as a greenhouse effect similar to when you close your car, do your car windows and you're inside and it gets hot. They help to uh, trap any heat. Um, inside the frame uh, and act as a buffer. If the sun goes behind a cloud, uh, the temperature doesn't drop a whole bunch and it really does uh, uh, jump the temperature up. Um, so anyways, the, the, then the next stage down is just uh, uh, these uh, 24 inch by 24 inch square 18 gauge uh, sheet metal that I uh, painted black as uh, heat conductors. And then we get right into the, the guts here. So these are just uh, like I said, 2x4s, salvaged 2x4s that were ripped in half to make these frames. Uh, they were dadoed on the uh, on the bottom, or sorry, rabbited on the bottom so that the, the screen fits in and then uh, the screen just uh, attaches on there. This is food grade stainless. Uh, I'll post the, the mesh size uh, down below in the comments if anybody's interested in, in the details. Um, and then yeah, below this is just low rib metal, and so basically how it works is um, sunlight bounces through um, the the plastic, um, hits this black surface, um, it's transferred into heat, and then that heat radiates down and uh, dries whatever you uh, have inside. In this case, it's um, it's apples. They're actually a bit overdone. I should have taken them out uh, this morning. Um, but uh, they taste really good. These just came off the tree uh, three days ago. Um, and then the other, I've been doing lots of experiments on, on drying stuff. It takes about three days for apples, three days for um, uh, Saskatoons. Uh, these are some buffalo berries that were just put in yesterday. They're still drying a little bit. I've done nectarines, cherries. They didn't last very long, they're really good. Um, peaches, and uh, yeah, so far it works great. Um, I've had the temperature as high as um, uh, 55 degrees inside on a hotter day uh, a little earlier in the year when the sun was higher. So right now you can see the temperature is at uh, 28 degrees Celsius and the probe is just sitting at, um, you know, out in the, the ambient temperature here. So, I mean, the, the temperature that you need to, uh, to dry food properly in a, in a commercial dehydrator is anywhere from 50 degrees Celsius to 60. And it is a bit uh, lower um, than that on a day like today, but normally it's right around that 50 degrees Celsius mark, and it uh, it works really, really good. Um, it's really simple. Um, the reason why I, I like these removable lids is that um, you know you can you can stack it all up really easily. Uh, this whole thing's on wheels, uh, coasters. So at night, uh, when the sun goes down, I just open up the garage door, wheel it inside. Then if it rains or you don't have to worry about animals coming in, bugging things. Um, and with the design, the way it is, these, these flat metal plates um, create a, a seal 
on this flat surface here so that no insects or anything can get inside the fruit. Other designs for solar dehydrators don't really work very well. So yeah, it's really, really simple to build. Anybody with basic carpentry skills and some simple tools, all I used was, uh, you know, tin snips, um, a table saw and a skill saw. Uh, anybody can make this. Uh, another thing that I, uh, I like about having it, you know, totally flat and on wheels uh, is that you can you can orient it to the sun as the sun as the sun changes around uh, during the daytime, so you can increase the efficiency. I mentioned before that you know we just wheel it inside the garage there. Um, and uh, if you want, if you're not doing berries or things that roll around, you can just make some simple wedges that you can uh, you know, push under so that you can actually get a bit of um, height difference from the front to the back. Uh, and that way, um, these slots here, uh, they'll actually uh, allow air, you know, hot air rises. So it'll actually create a, um, you know, a, a very slight air current uh, that will increase the uh, your dehydration. But I, like I mentioned, for berries, uh, it makes it difficult for them to, to stay put, um, at least for the first part. Um, so other than that, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a really simple design. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about... A, in the in the blog post about why uh, we chose to do this as opposed to some of the other down downdraft or the airtight um, dehydrators but we're really happy with this one so far um, yeah the fastest that we've dried things is about two days the longest is you know three and a half days uh, and it's you know it's free we've done about 50 or 60 pounds of saskatoons uh, only a handful of apples so far, but you know, we're gearing up so that all of our fruit trees are going to be producing like crazy in the next few years. And I think this is going to be a uh, really important uh, piece of technology for, for us on our farm here.